All right, morning. Put my hat straight, ready for the day. <coughs> um, right, I am doing, if you haven't already seen it, the Berwickshire Coastal Path. Now, it's 30 miles long. It doesn't seem that much, but supposedly it's a bit of a rotter, especially like the first 15-ish miles up in the uh, eye mouth sort of area then it sort of levels off a bit to get to Berwick so I've started at Coburn's Path Coburn's Path yes looks like Cock Cockburn's Path but isn't it's pronounced Coburn uh, anyway um so I think that's for two reasons really uh, wait three the way flowers <laughs> Another reason, off the cuff, basically. Uh, and third is a reason you'll see later on, and I'm not going to just tell you about yet. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it comes off. Right, so, like I say, 30 mile ish from Coburn's Path down to Berwick, all the way down the coast, the coastal path, obviously. Um, so, when you come out of Coburn's Path, follow the uh, thistles. Uh, and then eventually you will see a sign like this a coastal path sign uh, a bit of blue there a bit of blue for dads uh, so please be first one to hit and as you can see there's a bit of uppiness about to happen a couple of miles along the way and it goes like that for quite a bit so right I get the, let's get this done then eh? oh god a beautiful beautiful little harbour down there don't anybody lives in them houses like a bit of smuggling going on do you reckon perhaps I'm going to be doing a lot of this, by the way. <laughs> and I tell you what, I think there's a lot of ups and downs as well. A lot like the Cleveland Way. I suppose this would be a good place to practice for the Cleveland Way, like for the um, coastal section. So there's Pease Bay Holiday Party. Eh? Absolute ton <laughs> of caravans. Wow, beautiful place. Look out on mind. Fantastic. Right, so you come out of Pees Bay on that side, and on your left hand side, there's some steps. Uh, it was quite overgrown, so like I didn't exactly miss it, but if it was any more gro overgrown, I might have missed that and went straight up the road. <coughs> yeah, you go up the steps, very steep. <laughs> um, uh, get to the top of there, and then you eventually like just worm your way around and come to this uh, road. We turn left, I think. Um, it's got like the same post at the end, telling you to turn left, so you'll not get lost. Uh, there was a woman that I met just before I hit the stairs. She said that um, this section's like lovely and well, you can already tell it is, but uh, it says, ah, it's lovely. Uh, once you get like, it's up to Dowlaw or something like that, it is up and down from there on. I think that's what she said anyway. But we'll soon find out. Uh, I should just had a walk around here this morning, should I say? So, yeah. Uh, so I must be about three, three mile in, I would say, I think, so just getting at the rhythm, is it? rhythm of it, isn't it, you know, the first couple of hours or so, but we're getting there, <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> So I'll 
Abbs Head or St Abbs, St Abbs Head's just before Nine Mile where I want to be at least tonight Bulls here, pretty enormous. <laughs> right, I balls up a bit coming through that farm. So, like, there's a sign once you come out of the last site to tell you to keep on going. There, there is like a path there now. I'm looking, but I don't think it's a path we're wanting. Maybe it goes along there, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. <coughs> but the guide thing I'm using. It's telling us to come through where well, what I've done, I come through this field here and come sort of diagonally across where well, I didn't have to, I had to sort of go up the other side of there, I think there's a fence where them trees are, come through a gate, sorry, up through a gate here to here, well I come bloody straight up then, I? where well, I come across and then up and I've had to like manoeuvre through that, I hope I haven't caught myself on the bob way, I don't know. But, um, these lasses were watching every bloody move I was making, laughing at us. Unreal. Well, at least you know for the next time. Go up by the wall, the last side. Then come through, up. Must be a gate along there, and along to here. There's a nice little bit road to the right. Uh, obviously, I'm on the path. <laughs> uh, going down to Dowell. I think I'll have a rest there for a bit. Then crack on. Uh, that's a canny claim up, Lee. Canny claim up. I've come up onto the road. Uh, I mean, not to say there's a path there we can follow up, but what would have been like summer when I'm doing this? It's a little bit overgrown, and you come onto this road anyway, a little further on. So I thought I may as well just hop on it now. Uh, a dowel, like I say, have a bit of scran and then crack on out of that way. Sooth. It's a lovely little bit of road this actually. Uh, that would be where you come out if you went through the, the grassy bit and didn't come onto the road. Um, just behind us there, that little bit of path there. Anyway, um, this is sort of the highest bit of the whole route. So you've got that out the way, more or less straight away, but there is a lot of ups and downs. Um, not as big though. Well, I hope not. I hope there's a sting in the tail somewhere. But, uh, I mean, that's about, what, six? Six fish miles in. I mean, it's been a bit huffy puffy, like. <laughs> yeah, no, but done worse. You know what I mean? It's, uh, Aye, it's a, it's a fair old day for it now, like, it's just nice and quiet for it being a bank holiday as well, like, uh, I was expecting, like, a few more people milling around, like, but, nah, not a sinner, really. Um, I forgot to say, uh, what I'd done to get the start, you can, you can start from, uh, Berwick if you like, but, um, what I've done to get the Coburn's path. God, such a hard one to remember. <laughs> you get the two, five, three uh, from just outside the Berwick train station. Uh, cost six pounds something to get here. Um, it's about an hour or so from Berwick. Uh, and that 253 goes to Edinburgh 
and it stops off a dumb bar and stuff like that on the way. So, um, I suppose you could do from like either direction sort of thing, you know. But uh, I wanted to get the more vicious bit out the way first. <laughs> Uh, so uh, that's why I've done it this way for and it's sort of close at home for us at the end so um, I, I think my ticket which I only bought a couple of days back was 14, 15 quid something like that I believe so uh, it's, it's fairly cheap I was going through this field yeah um, I did stop for a second because um, trying to work out what path I'm taking Dean I'm yet uh, because I'd rather not go through where them cows are on that hill there if I can help it there they are there was some sheep and alley right, let's see I think it might be this bottom one made well luckily it seems as though I'm missing them lasses out for the minute but for the minute <laughs> A lovely little bridge there. Well, you eventually come back to that field anyway. Um, I was never going to go through that. The cows were making such a bloody noise. I was doing one as anyway. And yeah, so I'm going to try and get along there and up there somehow. Right, there's a gate doing the bottom of that bit. Like, they get you through there. <coughs> I'm just going to pelt along here. Yeah. I don't think the cows can see us. <laughs> Luckily, didn't see an old lad. That looks as if we're going down. <coughs> up and I bet my bottom of dollar it's back down again because I'm sure we'll go across the towards it <laughs> actually just looking at my map that's in Ab's head over there <coughs> I thought I seen something white uh, glistening before but I didn't think we were that sort of close but, um, that little bit bank there like <coughs> Look worse than what it was, eh? Uh, we've got a steep one coming up. I know I've, I can that one there. I've seen that one before. <laughs> uh, I so like the, I believe the lighthouse is like on that side there. I could just see a little bit of it over the side there. Uh, I can't see any dolphins out there, so seals I can hear them uh, and I had some people that were uh, the well come at St Ab's head can sometimes hear them like uh, uh, we got here fairly quickish it's quicker than what I was expecting really um, I mean not that it's a bother like an easy just much around uh, Colin Bay and St Abbs Lake Village. That's a neat ball, is it? In this weather. Right, let's crack on it. Uh, sure enough, we're going down. And it looks like it's that path near the edge. Turn to the top. It doesn't look too far. Steep, but it doesn't look too far. Look at this man, it's absolutely gorgeous man. I've had this basically to myself all day. What a coastline man. That's a canny trudge up there mind you. I mean thank god we weren't going up that one. Well I thought we were originally going up but <coughs> mind you. That's a steep bull there now. Still not at the top. I've just sat down for five. Uh, there's a marker there. And then I think we'll sort of be going towards St. Abs. 
that's called them locked down there. There's a few people on. And here's yeah, a couple of mates I've just made. I'll be quite happy having some time out to walk on for a change. But it's going up like. When you can look at any part of this lake and think it's beautiful. Seems as though the sheep think it's canny and early, they want a closer view. My Christ. I how the hell they're gonna get back up. And there's St. Abs. Lovely bit of rock there as well. <coughs> so after St. Abs, uh, I'm going to wild camp. <laughs> right after Quillen Bay, actually. Uh, which is just behind St. Abs there. So it'll be one of them beaches along there before we get eye mouth. Aye, then I'm. Yeah, I'm well coming. Bloody hell. Then a no time of St. Abs, Golden Bay. So I'll be camping along there somewhere on the beach. Right, I'm going to mooch around here for the next couple of hours till it gets quiet. I think it's the next beer long, not the one after that. I'm intend to stop, I mean, look at it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Uh, I think Coolden actual village has got a spa, so I'm gonna get some uh, some essentials. <coughs> that will eat a bit of time, and then tomorrow I'll go time out. I've been seeing that bloody caravan park for ages now. Never seems to get any closer. A lot of place Coolden villages. The spa's just there. <coughs> I've just been sitting down and yeah, having a drink of water. Uh, there's a chip shop just down there next to where the um, caravan park is. I was tempted to go in there actually. <laughs> and there's a takeaway there. It smells lovely, like. Honestly man, the rocks and all that are beautiful. Millions and millions of years. Billions? I don't know. I've done geology at school as well, you know. I shouldn't. <coughs> Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I think this might be home for the night. Um, them fires were there <laughs> before I come. There were two or three or something there. <coughs> Um, there's one a bit further along, but it's what a mess I've made. I mean, how are you? Uh, so I think I'll set up here, I think. It's not exactly flat, but it'll be. Once I get the, <coughs> the mat out and that, I'll sort it out. Uh, looking forward to waking up tomorrow morning to a cracking. 
sunrise. I was never going to see a sunset there. And then another up. Well, that's a tent set up. Uh, oh, hard day. Really hard day. Um, I went up Helvellyn last week. Um, chest. Absolutely nothing. It's the same the day. I don't know. I don't know if I've got COVID or I've had COVID or something like that. But I, uh, that was a tough day, but beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, struggled like around like seeing Ab's head like just before you got there. Um, <laughs> I just parked my horse <laughs> when I got there. I think I just thought he'd myself to the floor and just lay down for 20 minutes or something. And then I've just took me time from St. Ab's head. Uh, St. Ab's just caught the cafe. Um, I only wanted a couple of cans of, um, Ain Brew or something, anything sugary. Um, and then just, it's basically around the corner. Like, you can see there in the distance. Um, and I've, I just went up into, um, Coldenham, like actual, um, what do you call it, the actual village, and that was just under a mile, I'd say, and then back, but that was just wasting time, just to knock up your alley. Uh, there's a couple of, like, fire pits that have already been made, but um, that wasn't me. <laughs> um, I, it's tough, mate. Like, if you ever going to do the Cleveland Way, this would be a brilliant one. I think I said it before. Uh, it'd be a brilliant one to try out, like, the test. Because that uh, C-section is a bit like this. <laughs> um, I saw a cracking day. Oh, uh, um, when I was coming out to see an abs, uh, there was three kids um, selling crystals. The white crystals that were stones. Uh, I thought I'd better hand out. I want one fifty before the chinders. So um, I, watch out for them if you're going to go past. Uh, uh, hopefully everybody will pass. Put something in, mate. So they bring us good luck. So uh, hopefully it'll get us through the night. <laughs> but uh, oh, it's stunning. This man, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. There's a lad just went up past there and there's been a couple of people cottle picking up. I don't know if you can see them in the distance. But, uh, aye. Beautiful. Uh, so, aye, so that's day one done. And I must say, I'm glad because that has killed us a day. Absolutely killed us. <coughs> right, I better go and try to contact the wife. Because she'll just be going, are you all right? Are you all right? So, there we go. Right. See you later. We'll hopefully see you in the morning. Hopefully get some kip. Right. See you later. Sure. I love this.